Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. So on the bench, we have an old Poulan, or Poulan, Poulan, however you say it, chainsaw. It is a Wood Shark model 1975. I have no idea what's wrong with it, if anything. Uh, my neighbor gave me this chainsaw plus this brand new chain to fix. Um, so I'm assuming it's broken. It's probably going to be a case of the usual carburation issues, but certainly don't want to jump to conclusions. You can see an obvious problem right away with the, the chain um, chain tension. This is a you know, typical homeowner saw. It's not a high-end one by any stretch of the imagination. This thing was probably maybe 200 bucks brand new, so it's not really worth a whole lot. So um, how do we want to get started? I guess we'll take this cover off um, and we'll, well, actually let's see if it's got compression first. Yeah, it's got a decent amount. General rule I like to use is if you can kind of pick up the saw with the rope and doesn't drop right down, it's probably got enough compression to run. Again, general rule, it's not scientific. All right, so now that we know we have some compression, let's take this top cover off. And I believe that'll give, a, give us access to the carburetor, the air filter, the spark plug, and all that. So, got a couple screws. Wasn't so tough. Get you guys a better look. Let's pull the plug and just check for any obvious signs of a problem. Besides being a little bit loose. Oh, that's looking a little lean to me. I don't know what you guys think. Can you see that? Get a little bath and compressed air. Let's take uh, some two strip mix right here. Squirt some in the plug. Actually, let's squirt some in the carburetor since we have easy access to it. Give her a tug and we'll see what happens. I hate these foam air. Oh, wow. Okay. So someone's been in here. There's no bolts on here. Well, bolts are here. They're just not attached. Well, someone's been monkeying around. Whoops. Give that a little spritz. Do get these bolts out of here so I don't get sucked into anything. Actually, but they hold the carb on. We got to put these back on. Fairly certain we're going to be taking them off again, but we're just doing a test here. Let's All right, let's see if she fires. Should be ignition. Let's stand back a little bit. That happened and you guys totally missed it. She's a runner. I'll repeat for you. was a runner. Proof enough the thing's capable of running. Alright, so what did we learn from that exercise? We learned that we're getting spark because the engine was running. Learn, we learned that there's enough compression for the engine to run, which suggests the internals are at least in decent condition. Um, I'm guessing at this point that there's probably a carburation issue, judging by the fact these nuts were off and the fact that it's on my bench. 
Let's look in the gas tank and see what we're dealing with. Usually a disaster. Oh yeah, that smells lovely. Let's dump that out. It smells wonderful. That's been in there a while. If only you could smell through the camera. So kind of as predicted, we're going to be taking these nuts off again. And I think this is just going to be your usual carb job. Okay, so it looks like our choke linkage is right here. That just pops right out. Probably slides. Well, we'll deal with that in a minute. <clears throat> More important linkages on this side, your throttle linkage. It's sometimes good, if you're not sure how it goes in, to take a picture of how it how it was. You can see that right there, that rod. That's your throttle lever. So we have choke, throttle, and fuel lines on these studs. That gasket is toast too. Someone's definitely been messing around with this thing. It's too bad. Okay, that fuel line just came right off of the primer, which is over here, probably rock hard. And this should be our return line right here, I'd imagine. Actually, this gasket isn't too bad, but it is torn. Let's see if I have one of my stash of parts. All right, let's get the saw out of the way. Um, we'll disassemble this carb. This looks like an older Zama carb. Yeah, Zama a C1U. What is it? Yeah, I don't know. I'll figure that out in a minute. Okay, let's disassemble our carb. Got a couple screws that hold. Actually, one screw that holds the fuel pump side on, which is this side. Folks, the reason why I'm doing this is because someone left gas in this thing. Probably ethanol fuel. Well, a lot of dirt came out of there too. Maybe it was just surface dirt. Um, anyway, yeah, someone left probably ethanol fuel in there and it causes these gaskets and diaphragms to go bad, get stiff, and they don't bend and work the way they need to. And the carb doesn't work. So always remember to Use ethanol-free gasoline and use stabilizer. Stable is one of my favorites. It'll keep the gas good for approximately two years. This one actually isn't horrible. So I'm guessing it's just full of dirt. So now I can usually get away with disassembling these things no further than this if they're not too bad. Um, and then that will allow us to put a new gasket and diaphragm kit in there and hopefully get this saw working again. So this is from our metering, this is our metering diaphragm here. This thing sometimes gets rock hard. Again, this one's not too bad. This is our fuel pump diaphragm. This one's a little stiff, so I'm guessing that's probably our problem. All right, so let's um, get the ultrasonic cleaner uh, all queued up with some warm water and simple green. We'll let this thing cook for a while.
like the small parts of the parts, yeah, too. Getting lost here, taking that in, too. Let this percolate for about 20 minutes or so. I think that's probably good enough. So I checked while this thing was running. I don't have the gasket and diaphragm kit for this carburetor, amazingly. I don't know how that happened. Um, so that'll have to get added to the parts order, assuming that this saw is even worth saving. Um, so I think we'll give it hitting the carburetor is gonna pop there. I think we'll give it a closer look. Um, the whole saw, just to kind of assess it before we spend any money on this thing. So I'm not going to be placing any parts orders just yet. Because again, I, like I said, this is a homeowner saw. It's not really all that exciting, even brand new. So I don't want to spend, it's probably not even worth spending 20 or 30 bucks on, quite honestly. So um, let's get ultrasonic out of the way. Let's get the saw back on the bench. Because again, we're looking at this. We need one of these, one of these, that, and the gasket on the other side. We need this gasket. Again, that stuff's not all that expensive, but you know, it all adds up. We're probably gonna need fuel lines, uh, primer purge bulb. We saw the chain was really slack. So let's see if there's a problem with the tensioner before we dig into this, because that, that stuff can get expensive. We have to replace that side cover. Okay, I see some problems or suspect things already. Got different nut here and here. I also see that the tensioner, which is right here, is all mushroomed out. So did someone hog that out and break it? Let's get that side cover off. Uh, what size is that gonna be? Maybe half inch? What do you guys think? That's a half. Yeah, both halves. Not entirely sure which of these bolts was the original one. Maybe neither of them. That one looks more factory than this one, though. All right, let's see what we're dealing with. Yeah, we're gonna clean that up. Throw that in the ultrasonic cleaner while it's, it's already here. at it. Bar and chain off. Get the chain out of my way before I cut myself on it. Let's see what's going on down here. It still spins okay. Don't see any obvious problems here just yet, um, but I do want to take this outside and clean it up a bit. Okay, so I think that the wound to the, to the brake assembly and the tensioner is non-fatal. It seems to work okay. This plastic is bulged out for some reason, but not really sure why, but it does seem to move all right. So hopefully that won't be an issue. All right, uh, where were we? So yeah, I cleaned the saw up, took it outside, hosed it off, um, just to make sure there weren't any other hidden surprises. Um, I think I mentioned I don't have a carb kit for this thing in stock. I don't know if I can get, maybe this will work the way it is. I don't know, I kind of want to try it. I do have, it's really not that bad. Maybe we should just put it back together and see if it runs. Um, I did find a gasket that I think will work for the carb because um, this one was a little, you know, a little torn up. It's important, however, when you're matching gaskets that you pay attention to these holes up here. So like that hole right there, down there. You want to make sure those holes line up in addition to the other holes. You don't want to cover it up because that's the pulse from the crankcase. That's what runs the fuel pump. So if you get that wrong, you're going to have a bad time. And it looks like the gasket here can go either, either way. So... So we can get this gasket I had laying around on there. So now the carburetor that's on this one, um, there are a bunch of different carburetors for this model. This is a, a, a Zama C1Q. There's two different models that uh, come 
two different variants of that carburetor that come on this chainsaw, but they both use the same gasket and diaphragm kit. So if you do need one, and we may end up needing one, if the part number is GND27, GND27, that's gasket and diaphragm kit. Um, oddly, if you look at a parts diagram for this saw, they say that they don't sell rebuild kits for these carbs, but you can find them. Not that difficult. All right, so let's get this bad boy back together and hope for the best. What do you guys say? So and again, I'm just using the all the parts that came off of it. Don't normally do this, but I don't have parts in stock. So we'll see if we can just get this thing running down the road. Because again, it wasn't that bad. Maybe it was just dirty inside or maybe it was just that fuel. So yeah. I do want to talk to the owner of the saw and figure out how much money they want to put into it. Nice thing about these cards, they're super easy to work on. When you compare to others like the wall bro. Alright, so let's get this carb on there. So we had our choke lever on this side. We have this little fuel line. We gotta hook up this line that goes down into oh wait, we gotta put this funky looking cover back on first, right? I think that went on like something like that, right? Let's see the point of that, but whatever. I don't need to see the point of it. You have to get this fuel line back on that purge bulb down here. There's a very difficult to see nipple that's sticking out. That's the first. I'm gonna work these in with a pair of needle nose. I don't think I have this size fuel line in stock, otherwise I'd be replacing it. Yeah, we might need to do that fuel line first. Sorry, I know you guys can't see. I can barely see. There, got it. Oh, can't forget this thing, whatever it's for. Oh, you know what? This is probably that seal so that we don't get nasties from the outside inside this chamber. So I guess that is kind of important, right? All right. Let's get that back on there. I don't have a gasket for this side. That's less important. Would like to have one though, all things considered, but I just don't have that in stock. Can't forget to hook up the other fuel on the other side. That's important. Okay, you blow the fuel tank out with some compressed air. Close enough for government work. Let's dump some two-stroke gas in here. See what happens. Is it leak? Nope. Yeah, right. Let's see what happens. sign.
might take a minute to start because I sprayed some oil on that cylinder. Got the cover back on. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on with this uh, chain, bar and chain. Make sure you don't put your chain on backwards. This chain's pretty, uh, pretty dull, but I'm not sharpening that now. I'm just trying to get the saw working. That's a little bit better. Let's see if we can figure out this whole tensioner thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna adjust this screw a bit. Almost looks like these bolts were cut. <laughs> They're different lengths. I don't know if that's supposed to be. Alright, that wasn't so bad. It's good enough for government work. Did we just fix this saw for zero dollars? That's pretty cool. Doesn't happen often. Alright, let's get her going and see how the chain works. Folks, I think that's a wrap. So yeah, we got this thing running for zero dollars. Just needed some fuel, a carburetor cleaning, and just some general TLC. So um, again, if you need a carburetor kit, I'll leave uh, a link to that gasket and diaphragm kit in the description if you need any of those parts. Um, anyway, all right, I guess that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Stay safe and uh, please subscribe, everybody. Take care.